Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to check out Watergate. This is a two-player game by Capstone Games. In this game, you're going to either play as Nixon in the Washington Post. If you play as Nixon, you're going to try to complete your presidential term without getting impeached, or, well, having to resign. And if you're the Washington Post, you're trying to collect two informants and connect pieces of evidence towards Nixon to win the game. Let's go ahead down the table, I'll give you a general overview of how the game plays, and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so this is Watergate. In Watergate, what you're trying to do is, if you're playing as the Washington Post, you're trying to create two informants to have lines of evidence to Nixon. If you're Nixon, you're trying to fill up your little card here uh, to end your turn and win the game, run out of red these red discs, or um, and basically to do that, you're going to need to block any form of investigations and eliminate some of the informants, meaning just pay them off, not kill them. But Throughout the game, what you're going to do is you're going to be fighting over this card, and whoever has initiative is going to draw five cards, and whoever doesn't has draws four. At the start of the game, Washington Post has initiative, so they'll draw five, and the Nixon team will draw four. What you're going to do then is each player is going to play one card at a time until they run out of cards, and then the round ends. Before that begins, though, the Nixon player is going to draw three pieces of evidence from the bag. Nixon player only is going to look at the colors of them and then flip them upside down and place them here. So the Washington Post doesn't know what colors those evidence are, but the Nixon does. So on a player's turn, they're going to pick which one of these options are going to do. They can either do the top or the bottom. If they do the top, what they can do is I can place this card down and I can say, do you have a blue evidence? And the Nixon player is going to look at these without showing the other player and say, yes, I have a blue evidence and flip it over. If they didn't, they wouldn't flip anything over. And the, um, the Washington Post can instead move either the initiative or the, uh, I forget what this progression token or whatever it is, um, forward three spaces. But there was a blue evidence, so I can move this three spaces. At the end of the round, wherever these evidence tokens and these are is who they go to. If anything ever gets to the five space, then that immediately gets taken and the benefit gets um, performed. In this case, if you have any numbers on there, this red uh, token will be moved one. So in addition to that, there's also these bottom events. And bottom events, a lot of them are removed from the game after they happen and they're very powerful. But you'll also notice that some of the best... Um, evidence movers are going to be these tokens that are uh, are these cards that will get removed. Some don't and they, you can do the event on the top or the bottom. They all have really powerful things. Some of the other things that you need to do throughout the game too though is you need to bring out um, oops, why is my, yeah, like this one here. You need to recruit an informant so you'll need to play this it'll get removed from the game and an informant will be put on the uh, board so what will happen there is you're trying throughout the game to put these little pieces of evidence on the board to create a line between that informant and Nixon. You're trying to do that twice, and if you do that twice, Washington Post wins. But Nixon, if any of these end up on his side, he's going to put the opposite side down, this little black side, and that blocks the player from being able to use that. And he can even go here and just completely block out an informant. Also, his informants in here, when he plays an informant card, they'll actually get placed to the board upside down and they get removed and you can't use that informant. Now there is a card in the Washington Post that, that will uh, remove the block informant and let them play an informant to put it out. This is your pool of informants. If cards refer to that pool of informants and there's no informant there, you can't play that portion of the card. You can only play it for its upper portion. So you'll continue on doing this and what will end up happening at the end of the round is Wherever this ends up, uh, that's the person that will have initiative. If it's in the middle, it'll be the opposite person. 
This will get awarded to either player. If it goes to Nix and nothing happens, but if he gets his fifth one or we run out of these red ones that can't get placed anymore, Nixon wins. If Washington Post gets it, nothing happens for the first two, but after that, three, four, and five, the Washington Post gets immediate benefits each time. After those are placed, then you're going to place out this evidence. So if you had an evidence that you won af um, after this part gets reset, because that'll happen first, then the initiative token will be moved down and it'll be closer to you for that, or not initiative, this red token will be moved closer to you for the start of the next round. And like I said, this will continue until either Washington Post or Nixon wins. And that in a really quick nutshell is how you play Watergate. Let's go ahead back up to the table here and I'll give you my final thoughts on the game. So this is a really, really great two-player game. I really love um, Watergate. I really love the push and pull throughout the game and the special powers on there. I think that the game is plays pretty quickly, so I think it's a lot of fun to play as one side, then flip it board, and then play as the other. Really, really good design, really good fun, and a really a lot of decisions that you have to make in the game of when you're going to burn that card to do its special abilities. Yes, it does something for super powerful, but it also, you no longer have that card. So your, your deck becomes weaker and weaker over time for pulling evidence. Also having that initiative really makes a big difference in the game too. So do you want to fight for that initiative? Oh, but you know, some of that evidence is going the wrong way. What do you want to do? There's a lot of decisions in this game. There's a lot of things to think about, and it's different every time because the decks, of course, are random when you play it, so players are going to use different things. There's a, a lot of replayability in this game also. Component quality, great. Loved it. Um, like the big wood um, discs that it comes with for the red and the white ones. I love the uh, the bag and the, and the pulling the evidence over their nice, big, thick cardboard um, pieces for that. So really great for that if you're looking for a great two-player game to play that doesn't take a whole lot of time pretty easy to teach and has a lot of cool strategic depth especially in the moment when you're playing it i would highly recommend checking out watergate thank you for watching